welcome to another episode of Earning the Hate. Hey, young people. Well, I wanted to do a follow-up because I didn't see this video where the actual shot was fired. Uh, Columbus Police shoot uh, Devon. Uh, I think his name's Devon. Let's see. What's his name? Yeah. Donovan Lewis is the guy that got shot. So, if you look at the other video, I mean, he shot him and they stopped it right at the shooting. This one shows after the shooting. Some people were saying that this is a inner limb interaction thing. I have a video on that. I'll try to put the link in the description. But if you if you look up inner limb interaction, inner limb interaction, uh, my video will come up on Google and I talk about what ha causes that. Some people were saying this was the case. I just saw the shooting real quick, but I'm going to evaluate it right now and see if that's the case. So let's take a look at the shooting. If you remember, uh, I don't even think they ought to be in a the house. They say they have an arrest warrant. I don't know why they think the guy's in here. Uh, nobody, they don't articulate it real well on a video that we saw him. We know he's here. We watched him go in the apartment. Uh, there's another issue about the difference between an arrest warrant and a search warrant. Some people are saying they can't search with an arrest warrant. That's not actually true. Uh, I can search for with an arrest warrant. I can only search for the person, but I need to have a reasonable belief that the person is in the house at the time. So there's a few caveats on arrest warrants, but I can absolutely search a house with an arrest warrant. I'm not searching for drugs, guns, or other criminals. I'm searching for the guy that I have a warrant for. So if they do, in fact, and I think down here it says they were serving an arrest warrant. So they do have an arrest warrant, but... I don't know what their articulation is on why we thought the guy was in here. Then they would have authority to enter. If they can't show reasonable belief that he's in the house and both people that came out said he wasn't, I don't know why they went in. Uh, another thing on this one is the guy that got shot, I know it's after the fact, he had outstanding felony warrants for domestic violence, assault, and improper handling of a firearm. So it's not like he hasn't had run-ins with the law. It's not like he probably knows the cops were out there. He heard the dogs barking and he saw cops at the door and he still picked up a vape pen and either tried to run. Uh, whatever happened. Look, a shooting cannot be justified on what you find out afterwards. But if I'm on a jury and a guy's out there committing crimes and he accidentally gets shot, I want to be a whole less sympathetic as if he's a freaking honest person who's got a job and he gets shot, you know. So, um, I thought I saw a dog running through my pasture. Sorry. All right, here we go. Let's take a look at this. We're going to send that dog in. Hey, I'm Come in. Oh. Okay, so I can't tell if that's inner limb interaction or not. Uh, it was a very quick shot. His finger appeared to be on the trigger. When he drew his gun, so it looks like, man, it's really hard to tell. So they're saying he had something in his hand. So is it an accidental discharge or did he mean to shoot because something was in his hand? Because the, the government is going to play, oh, uh, he thought he had something in his hand to make it look good. But did the officer say he had something in his hand? I don't know how the officer could see something in his hand. I'm assuming it's in his left hand. It does look like something maybe black in the suspect's uh, right hand, actually. So I don't see a jerking of the dog here for inner limb interaction. The dog's head stays pretty still. When the round is fired. I don't see an inner limb. Inner limb interaction is when you have something in your other hand and your finger's on the trigger and it goes off accidentally. This cop pointed, Drew had his finger on the trigger and it looks like he pulled the trigger. Some people are saying accidental. I don't know. Oh, oh. We're going to send that dog in. Hey, I'm Come in. This, to me, this is typical. Cops are shooting too damn fast, too easy. They're never held accountable. And uh, it's just too easy for them to shoot. And they know nothing's going to happen. And until cops start losing their job, losing their homes, losing their pension, and going to prison, it's not going to change. 
So I, I'm not I'm not buying the interlaminar action thing here. Send that dog in. I do not see these dogs jumping at all. Hands. Come in. Oh. Oh. So the dog barks afterwards, but I don't see it before. I'm gonna s slow it down here, and we'll look at this at like half speed. Send that dog in. Almost immediately. Uh, I, I don't even know if I would say that's an accidental discharge. It wasn't an accident. He put his finger on the trigger and pulled that trigger. Uh, even in slow motion. The only thing that happens is I think he says, oh shit, or something right afterwards. Let's see if... Uh, it will pick up what he says. Okay, so CC isn't working on slow speed. Let's see if it works on normal speed. Um, no, no. I hear no. We're going to send that dog in. Hands. Come in. Oh. Yeah, so CC's not picking it up. Uh, I, I I don't think this is an accidental discharge, and I don't think it's a uh, interliminar action. That's my limited take on this. Uh, of course, if I read the police reports and saw other body cam angles, and this officer, when he put his gun in, said, oh shit, and then after this, he says, I didn't mean to shoot him. And I think they kind of go into some sort of first thing. He's got something in his hands. Hands, hands. So now they start hollering hands, hands, because that's just normal. Somebody shot. We don't know what he saw. I mean, could this cop be just trying to cover for this guy and give him an excuse? Maybe. He put his gun away. He's not threatened anymore. Why'd he put his gun away? That that To me, that's telling that he immediately went, oh, shit, I'm putting my gun away. I shouldn't have shot. Uh, so his body behavior afterwards tells me that it was a mistake or he, he didn't mean to shoot. But now is this cop really saying there's something in his hand or hands, 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 let me see the right hand, crawl out here, crawl out, crawl out. All out. That's so freaking bullshit. You just shot a dude in his bed. Walk your ass in there with a gun and handcuff him and give aid. Crawl out. Are you kidding me? <laughs> so the canine now is kind of backed up and out of the way here. Crawl out here. Crawl. Get your hands up. All right, cover me. I'm going to go in. I got you. No shit. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Like this. Pussy, go in. But I mean... I need cuffs. I'm out of cuffs. I'm out of cuffs. You got one set of handcuffs? You've only got two guys cuffed. You got five cops there. How can you be out of cuffs? I carried two or three handcuffs on me all the time. How can you be out of cuffs? Hands behind your back. Do it now. Hands, hands behind your back. Call for a 24. Hands. Call for a 24. Maybe an ambulance, I'm thinking. 43 hands started at 24. Okay, so he had a felony warrant for domestic violence, beating a woman, using a gun, assault. Um, doesn't change holding government. A lot of people want to justify when government does this shit, the guy was a bad guy anyway. I get it, but that's not the point. The point is government has the power to take life and to take liberty and to lock you up. And there needs to be rules, they need to be accountable, and they need to report to we the people. They are tyrannical. It's bullshit. This is still earning the hate in my book. I'll make it a part two to uh, this one. Lynette Derrick.